So greetings aspiring surgeons and fellow trainees. Today we are delving deep into a technique that is a game changer in the world of suturing, the Gamby stitch. So friends, the Gamby stitch is known for its versatility and strength. Is a fundamental skill for any surgeon. So whether you are a seasoned surgeon looking to enhance your skills or just beginning to explore the intricacies of suturing, you are in the right place. And before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode of our comprehensive suturing course. Alright, let's get started. I'll walk you through each step of Gamby stitch from needle placement to knot time. You will learn the ins and outs of it, this technique and why it is a must know for any surgery training. And by the end of this episode, you will be able to perform the Gamby stitch with confidence and adding another essential tool to your surgical toolkit. Friends, I have already discussed about Gamby stitch in our previous video series that was Stichoplasty and Pyloroplasty and we have discussed theoretically and uh, uh, demonstrated the live surgery also. So many of you have requested again to upload the Gamby stitch in the playlist of this basic and advanced suturing. So here we are. So friends, the Gamby stitch is an interrupted single layer suture which invert the mucosa into lumen and basically it's implied where you are having some difficulty you are dealing with some like a scarred or fibrous tissue and uh, they are the edges are friable so uh, to add a added uh, security uh, this uh, gamby stitch is a beautiful uh, addition to your armamentarium so there are four parts just understand the theory then we will demonstrate step by step so first suture is brought uh, full thickness from outside to in then you take a reverse stitch and only take part of the mucosa and some mucosa and third pass is again uh, you have to reverse the direction of needle and you part take part of some mucosa and mucosa and fourth uh, pass is again full thickness from mucosa to sub mucosa and all these sutures are taken in an interrupted manner so for the ease of demonstration as all of our video tutorials are meant for uh, junior trainees who are just entering into the field of surgery so uh, like uh, first stitch we have color coded these uh, sutures uh, passes so first is black then yellow green followed by red so first stitch as i said is through and through from srosa to uh, mucosa and uh, this uh, we have demonstrated in the pyloroplasty so just imagine the, st the stomach serosa is towards your right side and towards the upper part of the screen then we reverse the needle then we take part of the mucosa submucosa and i have already said many times that always take the submucosa in the uh, suture bite to because this is the strongest layer then uh, you take another bite in a reverse direction that is the submucosa and uh, mucosa and fourth pass is again full thickness that is from uh, mucosa to uh, serosa follow the rule of halves as i said sutures are taken approximately 1 to 1.5 centimeter apart keep around 1 centimeter and uh, don't apply another layer of serosal suture to buttress the gambi stitch otherwise it will lead to the excessive inversion and may cause narrowing if you have any concern then you may apply one or two stitches over this gambi stitch but not as a rule that you have to apply them and cover the whole uh, gambi stitch layer uh, so use your discretion uh, use your discretion wisely as i said uh, do re download our app for better learning experience and keep practicing and every stitch you make brings you one step closer to mastery embrace the challenge embrace the journey and become the skilled surgeon you aspire to be so thank you very much for uh, watching friends stay connected happy learning thank you very much